Okay, are we live? I think we are live right now. Hey guys, if you are there, welcome to my channel. It's a beautiful day to be alive. We just got in the park, we're a little late. I need a selfie stick because I'm holding the camera right now like that. And love is like biting all over me. Ow! Oh, that's the first one. Hey, you get the first shout out, Caroline Thomas. Hi, there you guys are, little supreme. Hi, Emma. Hi, epic Hamaka. Hey guys, <laughs> beautiful to see you. So let me go grab my selfie stick and then I'll let Hope out so he can go free fly. Okay, let me see. Oh, all I need is my cat and Roblox. Hi. Hi, Aaron Man. Hi, Anfredo. Okay, where's my selfie stick? Love, what is, what is Love doing? Love, what are you doing, you silly little bird? Where's my selfie stick? I don't see it, but good to see you guys. Oh, I didn't find my selfie stick, but look, I found my glasses. It's so hot, oh, so much better. I like your bird, thank you. Oh, hi, 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 hi. My name is Jacob, can you say hi? Yes, hi, hey, Caroline. Hi, Naji, Na, 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 Naji Portier. Hi, Patrick, hi. Okay, so we are right now in the park and I have such exciting news. My book just got published and it is live on Amazon. If you go down to the link in the description, there it is. It is right now available for purchase. I'm gonna talk more when love stop biting and breaking my car. Hey, are you breaking my car? Are you breaking my car? Don't break my car, come on, come on, come on, come on, love. <laughs> Let's get Hope out. Hope can't wait to go fly. Out. Oh, I love that was my hand. My favorite part is your pet. Oh, thank you. I love birds so much. Oh, thank you. Really need to buy it. Yes. So this book is not just for like free flight people who wants to learn free flight, but it's everything. It's private behavioral training. It's human training. It's everything, guys. Even if you don't want to free fly, you will totally benefit from this book. Okay, where's my selfie stick? Okay, ow! Love, stop biting. Love is horrible. He's like biting me. He's so nippy. Okay, what else? How much is it? Oh, it's just $9.99. Like, basically just 10 bucks. Like, you can just buy like two cups of coffee. That's it. That's the price of the book and you will get a parrot education. How great is that? Love, stop biting. <laughs> He's, he breaks everything. This is the biggest trouble, I'm telling you. Here, here, bite this nut. Like this nut. Hopi wants to come out. Hopi, come out. Let's go. Let's go, Hopi. Ow! <laughs> no, no. Hopi, come on. Come on. Let's go. Oh, okay. One, two, three, go. There you go. <laughs> I love to see my happy birds fly. Okay. Oh, and straight on the tree. <laughs> Where the people are. That's our spot. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, sure. Go ahead. You are just, you'll be just live on YouTube right now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay guys, we are right now in the park. Hope is sitting under our tree right there. And yeah, we'll go, I think right next to it. And oh my gosh, this is awesome. I'm so excited. Like I just wanted to like, you know, come live and talk to you just because everything was so busy and so crazy in my life. But the good thing is I got stuff done. And oh, there's Hopi. Hi Hopi, are you coming? That's my bird. Yeah, he doesn't, he won't do anything. He will just poop on you. Uh, okay. That's it. <laughs> just kidding. No guys, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We'll sit, we'll sit right here. We'll sit right here. Okay. This is a nice spot. Okay, love, come down. Oh, let's go in the shade. I want to go in the shade because then I don't get any sunburn. Okay, and then we're gonna wait for love, Hope to come down. All right, do I have... Oh, I forgot my nuts. Love, I just have one nut for you. Here, just one nut. Oh, <laughs> you just drop it. Love, don't drop your nut. Here, there's a okay do i have love secured yes your yeah, harness training okay guys oh there's hope hey hope are you coming yeah yeah come on good boy good boy good job okay so um let's see if you guys have any question what happened to dino oh it's all in my book you guys have to read the book i explain everything about dino in my book what time is it for you right now i think like 540 or so. Well, hope sticks the landing. 
He's really actually a really skillful flyer. He's really good in flying. So glad you opened this book with Dino. It was special. Thank you. Thank you, Mirko. Hope is so amazing and cute as. Yes, he is. Oh, hold on. I need to get him. Hope just landed on the floor. And you guys know he's not allowed to go on the floor because there's <laughs> dogs. Yeah, no. You can sit on the tree, but not on the floor. Go. Go sit on the tree. Okay, he, he sat on his tree. That's good. I don't want him to like crawl around on the floor. I think birds shouldn't crawl around on the floor. They're so beautiful, majestic. They're not like a chicken that go in the sand and you know, like they should be like on a tree sitting up the highest spot like a king. All right, love you. Thank you. I watch your videos. Thank you. Where do you buy it? Oh, on Amazon. The link is in the description. Go check it out. It's just $9.99 and you can get a whole parrot education. And I pour my soul and my, my, my time and my sweat and my blood and my effort and my money in this book. I hope you enjoy it and I think it will bring so much value to the bird world and to the free flight community. So I make right now free fly accessible for everybody in the world. Everybody will know how to train their parrot and can go out and train them and let them fly but safely. Don't get your parrot lost if you are not ready. And um, I just want to like really, really emphasize safely. There's a lot of lost parrots. So um, yeah, go read the book. You'll know everything about me and my training style, my training method. It's an awesome book. And the two cup of coffee, like ditch it for a week or for a day. It's so valuable just to read the book. Like you learn so much from it. Okay, let's see. I've been watching your videos for quite a while now and you were so amazing and I like eating your birds that you just so amazing make you and your bed cheat and you're actually really lucky to have birds. Oh, thank you. Uh, that's a uh, call she Taylor. Thank you so much. That's really sweet. Um, love your videos. Thank you, Jacob. Hi. Hi, Jacob. Um, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> you should not get a parrot if you have school. I don't have school. Um, I'm not in school anymore, guys. <laughs> uh, where did you get your parrots? Oh, I buy them from local breeders, like like all over. Like Love, I got shipped from Florida. He, he was born in Florida. How old is your, is Hope? Oh, Hope is turning now three. July 3rd, 21st is his birthday. He's three years old. Um, yeah, you can use also, here's a question, can you use your book for small birds? Yes, you can. You can, guys, you can train any bird. You can try train a little parakeet or a little like parallel and you can try train a big hyacinth. It's all about obedience training and discipline skills. And I explain it everything in my book very clearly. Uh, what else? I'm looking to have a blue and bold macassoon. Congratulations, you should totally get one. Fatima Hernandez, hi, how's Hope? <laughs> Hope is good. He's up there chewing on his tree. He has his GPS on. Uh, where do you live? I live in California, Pasadena. Uh, okay, other questions? Let me see, other questions? I love your video, thank you. Can I get a shout out? You never get a shout out. Oh, I'm sorry, Jalen, here's your shout out. Um, do you live in Sacramento? She, Sh uh, Sean is asking me this question. No, I live in Pasadena, California. You are great. I love your videos. Thank you, Teresa King. Um, hi, Sina. I love you. You are so amazing. Thank you. Uh, call she Taylor. I'm bad with names. I'm so sorry if I slaughter your names right now. I'm so sorry. Okay, let me scroll down. Let's see. I love you, Frida Magna. Thank you. I love your videos too. Thank you, Varel Vega. You are so beautiful. J Jacob, thank you so much. I'm so happy to hear that. How old is Hope? Oh, I just answered that question. He's three. I want to shout out Inkling Pele's. Here's your shout out. Animal, true animal lover at House Destiny's ice cream. Oh, he's like screaming all the time. Every morning he's like, ice cream, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Destiny wants ice cream. He's so cute. Can I get a shout out? Yes, GTA5. Here's your shout out. Um, I love you and hope. I love you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. Uh, somebody says Coraline. I love your videos. Thank you. But my name is Caroline. But it's all right. I forgive you. Um, 
You can slaughter my name. You always remember me. <laughs> Mirko, I know. Is it Mirko or Maiko? I don't know. I'm slaughtering names right now. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. I was even bad in school with names. Oh my gosh. Just took over to my adulthood. Um, do parakeets parak talk? Yes, they talk. Um, can I get a shout out? Sina, didn't I give you just a shout out? Love your birds and your videos. Mi Kyo. Mi Kyo. <laughs> okay, I think I get you. Miyoko. Um, I'm thinking getting a parrot, but I have school when summer is over. Should I get one? No, you should get a parrot only if you have time. Don't get a parrot if you don't have time. You need time for the parrot, otherwise the parrot will get bored and then he get aggressive and then he doesn't want to step up on you and, and doesn't want to like, you know, because it doesn't know how to socialize and then you are frustrated, the parrot is frustrated, both of you are frustrated and then you kind of rehome the parrot and that's a sad story. So just get parrots if you have time. Um, how long do parrots live and can live for? Do I share the shout out? Nicole, yes. Hey, Nicole. Um, so this little guy here, he's still a baby. He can live up to like 60 years and macaws can live older. Um, Hope can live up to 90 years and Amazons too, like 80 to 100 years. Okay, so basically, um, any more questions? Um, thank you for the tip. Oh, you're welcome. I love you. Thank you, <laughs> Frida Magna. Favorite parrot. Thank you. Can I get a shout out? Ranel Vega. Yes, Caroline, where did you get your birds? Local breeders. Um, I wrote also about it in my book. Like, never buy birds in a pet shop, like, you know, pet shop chain store, like PetSmart or um, Petco, just because those birds are really sick and you never know what you're getting. And I hear horror stories about those type of birds getting it from, like, those chain pet shops. But local pet shops are okay. Um, did you get a new antenna for the Hope's Tracker? Yes, I did. I did. He's flying with it right now. Um, uh, let me see. Your bird looks so soft. Yes, they're very cuddly and very, very soft. They are so, they are so, they are so sweet. Like I love my bird because I can just take him and just like kiss him. And he's so tame, he's so lovely, he's so lovely. Look at him, look at him, guys, look at him. He's such a baby, he's such a baby. Mm. I'm gonna blow his butt. <laughs> oh, that was a little too hard. Oh, I'm sorry, love, was it too hard for you? I just love to kiss him. He's so sweet. He's very cuddly, I have to be a little gentle. Okay, what kind of camera do you fit on them? Cameras? I don't do any camera on him. Oh, hop. Hoppy's coming in. Hoppy, come on. He's happy. That's a happy bird. Uh -huh. Guys, can you, can you see him? He's right there. Flying off in the far distance. Yeah. I trust my training. I trust my bird. He's happy. This is a golden hour. He can do like bird stuff, whatever he wants. He's just really, really happy. And I just love to hear, hear him and see him happy. Oh my gosh, he's, he's chasing. I don't know. He's chasing a wild parrot. Look at that. Look at that. Can you guys see him? Oh my God. He's like, he's like chasing that parrot and screaming at it. Oh, how parrots. Oh my gosh, guys. I don't know. Can you guys see that? That's a really funny, and he's dive bombing. Can you guys see that, or is it too far away? Can you comment? Can you see that? Did you guys saw that, or is it was it too far away? Your parrots are so beautiful, but such a rascal. Yeah, yes. he was. It was so funny. This big macaw and this small little bird found the distance, two dots, but you can see his long tail, his silhouette, and you can see this little bird. Oh, incoming Hopi! Incoming Hopi! Come on, Hopi! <laughs> So cute, so cute, so cute. What did you do, you little rascal? What did you do? Did you chase that parrot? Did you chase that parrot? That poor parrot, that poor parrot. Aw, Hobie. Look at his eyes. Look at how, oh, just now. Look at how it was like really white pop up. He was so excited. Oh, he can't. <laughs> That's a happy bird for sure. He's like, <sighs> like that. <laughs> He's so cute. Mm, mm, mm. 
All right, so let's read some more comments. Um, did you have any other animals but other than birds? Yes, I did. I had a. I was. I. I we live. Oh, Hopi. No, no, love. No. You see this? You see this? This is my whistle. You know who did this? Like, guess who did this? Who did this? Who? Who's biggest trouble? Yeah, that was love. Yep. It was love. Yeah, I grew up in a farm. We had so much animals and I wrote about it also in my book. Um, you guys have to like uh, read that one chapter because I had all kinds of animals like living in that farm. We had horses and uh, sheep and guinea pigs and dogs and like cats and we had everything. And that's where I also had three little budgies and they were like really sweet little budgies but i just love birds like forever i just love birds chapter one. Oh, did you got it chapter one mirko did you just bought the book can i have a shout out because he mirko just wrote chapter one are you reading right now chapter one <laughs> let me know it's the story oh you know, uh, guess what guys guess what love just pooped on me you guys want to see it? You guys want to see it? Look. Oh, <laughs> that's poop and I have no napkins. Ugh. Ugh. I hate to get pooped on. Look. Ugh. Love, what should I do now? Okay. Uh, yeah. We have to do some survival skills. I have to go to the car and get some napkins. But yeah, um, that's the reason why in my book, I talk also about potty training. If I would have asked him and says, go poo poo, he's going to poop on, on somewhere else. I trained him to potty. Po I trained him to go on cue, like to the bathroom. But if I don't remember to ask him, he just do it by himself. So I should have remember it and ask him and this wouldn't have happened because now it's getting cold. <laughs> Ah, uh, shit. Like, basically shit. What should we do now with that poop, huh? Love? I love you. Oh, I love you anyway. Like yesterday, we, was dri we were driving over here. He pukes on me in the car. I was full of puke. I'm just like, Arr. We come out in the park. I forgot to ask him to poop. He poops on me too. So I have puke and poop on me. Like, basically, like, seriously, this is like even worse than parenting a kid. Okay, let's read more comments. Oh my gosh, you are amazing. Um, but quick question. Do I have a macar? And there are some people that let their dog flee, so I don't take it free flying. I'm so nervous. Ah! Oh! <laughs> you just scream on my ear. Yeah, so um, same problem what I have. I call it dog drama. I ask them politely to put their dog in the leash. If they don't put their dog in the leash and I see it's bad, I will just go away and go somewhere else. I, I won't risk my bird's life uh, just to stay in one location. Come on, Hope. Come on. No, little rascal. No. Okay, he just landed up in the tree. I hope I answer your question. Um, okay, other question. Your garden clean and when the guy poop. Oh yeah, Thunder Balls is asking me that question. That's a video on my channel. You guys have to look. One day, there was a guy. I thought it was an intruder, like a, um, a burglar. And because the day before there was a Berkeley in my neighbor's house and then I saw somebody moving like in the shadow and I go out and address him and I caught this guy plucking a piece of leaf off my garden and I say hey what are you doing and and yeah he's like nothing he just says he had a wound and he wanted to like uh, put some healing stuff on it healing leaf but it wasn't even a low vera he was looking for a low vera well later on um, I went to the garden on the side and there was just big pancake like big poop pancake and I was like oh my gosh and all the flies were sitting on it it was just so gross I call the video shit guy or something like that go check it out it's on my channel homeless man poop yeah yeah but I don't think he was homeless because he was friends with my neighbors um, you are amazing thank you hunter seller he's asking I always watch your videos for more tips thank you well the thing is like you know I always try to be at um, uh, more entertaining more than educational just because you know I'm an entertainer and I'm a filmmaker um, 
but I didn't want to be like a boring bird channel so I was like starting to free fly and dog drama happened I just record stuff and put it up on YouTube and it became really big and now people hate me for dog drama but anyway I, I want it to be more more than like educational I want it to be entertaining but now I'm gonna do both on educational and entertaining I think the, those two big E's will be really a bang hey love stop it okay other questions um, you are a good bird lover. Oh, yeah, I love my bird. There is a chapter in my book where I say treating birds as birds via treating birds as family. I treat my birds as family. They are not my hobby. They are not just birds. They are my family. They are my babies. I treat them like my kids. Like, and it's a difference. Like, it's a chapter in my book. Oh, you know, we need to get you some nuts and we have to wipe off the poop. I love you. Okay, one of my cousins grabbed a wild parrot. We don't know. Oh, that's so sad. I admire your channel. I love hope so much. Wait, what? I admire your channel so much. Hope it helped me. Oh, thank you, Vega. Uh, can you free fly him? I don't understand that question. If you have another bird, would you? What would it be? <laughs> I'm not getting another bird. I'm done. Those hyacinths. They take room of like ten lorry keys. <laughs> they are high, intense birds, and they're screaming. So no birds for me. Please read this. My birthday is coming up and I really want to give a gift. want to give you something or at least spend a day with you. And it would be amazing if you read this. Mila Garman. Hey, that is so sweet. Well, I don't know when is your birthday, but hey, happy early birthday. Let me write me an email and let me know where you are located. And maybe you can come out to LA. I don't know. We can make it happen if it's your biggest wish. I think Marlene is doing pop-up shops and pop-up meetings, so maybe I should do that too. <laughs> but I just feel like, ah, I have so much to do, but I really love to meet you guys. I would love to have a meet and greet one day. But then I want to plan it really well and do it really good. Okay, um, I wish to meet you too. Mia, thank you. All right, you're so awesome. Thank you, Mia. Thank you. I love hope. Thank you. Can I have a shout out? Alpha Ash. Yes. Thank you for reading my comments. You're welcome, Frida Magna. Hope is so beautiful. Um, this is how you get your book. Please read. Notice me. Edit. Something very difficult name, but at the end, edits. Um, can you fly love? Yes, yes, yes. So guys, my computer is still broken. Um, so I had to like, you know, get a computer from my friend just for like getting my book out and it was really hard work just because like the computer broke and I had this deadline. I really wanted to be true to myself and to you and um, get this book out by July 1st. So I got the e-Kindle version out and I submitted it this morning and today it's released its official publish right now on Amazon. You can read it even for free if you have Amazon Kindle. It's just $9.99. The link is in the description. And and yeah so my computer is still broken if you want to like you know be my patreon and because i bas basically need a new computer my like i i can't just always work on my friend's computer so if you want to be my my patreon link is also in the description um can help me to like get a new computer and then i will start editing again real vlogs but i need to also right now this week what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna publish the paperback so you guys can have also a physical tangible copy of my book not just an e-copy an e-book so i'm gonna release this week a paperback for you oh hopi you just flew come on hope come on yeah hope and love look at guys look at guys these are my birds look at how gentle and how beautiful they are hey. be nice be gentle you guys are brothers yeah, guys. No, hope. Oh, don't go on the floor. Don't go on the floor. Hopi. Oh, look what Hopi's doing. Hopi, come. 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 Sit. Sit still. Love, stop biting me. Sit still. <laughs> they are always bored. They always need, like, play and toys to be, like, act assimilated because I always they get bored and then they bite and break my slippers. Alright, hope it's back on the floor. Let me get him off the floor. Big 
like this, and then I have to wipe away that poop. Hope you can. Come on, Hope. Come on, Hope. Get off the floor. One, two, three, and uh -huh. go. There you go. Uh huh. There he goes. There he goes. Come on. <laughs> Hi. Are you having fun? Are you having fun? Yeah. Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. <laughs> He's quite a singer. Be nice to your brother. Be nice to your brother. Be nice to your brother. Okay, Hopi. One, two, three, go. Uh huh. Bye, Hope. If he fights, oh. <laughs> Good job, Hopi. Good job. Good job. He wants to feed love. You want to feed love? <laughs> two boys. This is a few own boys. What is Hopi doing? Hopi is very playful today. Very playful. Ow. Come on. One, two, three. Go. All right. He go up to the tree. Okay. Let me go to the car and grab some nuts. And then I will answer more questions. Um, yeah. Okay. Life with birds. This is all reality. This is all real stuff. Like nothing is edited. This is really us in the park doing free flight and really like um, solving problems if birds fight. And now I need to wipe off this poop, guys. Look at that. Look at that. This is this is poop on me. This is poop from this guy. Ah, oh, he got off my hat. Love. <laughs> love is such a badass. Oh yeah, love. Come on. Come on, lovey boy. Come on, go perch. Go perch. Okay, I have him perch now. While I'm wiping off that poop, and then I will grab some. Oh, look at it. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. I love birds, but I don't love wiping off poop. Oh, okay. That's it. Let me go grab it. But love, what are you doing? Look at him. What are you doing? Can you just behave for one minute? No, without biting cars and mommy replacing stuff. I, I buy stuff for them to break so that they can destroy it. And if I don't, oh, Hope is coming. Hi, Hopi. And if I don't buy them stuff to like, two on, you know what they do? They break my stuff. You know who broke just my TV remote? This guy, he poops on it and then he breaks it. Like seriously, hi Hope. Hope is circling around me because he wants to see where I'm going and he thought I'm leaving, but he doesn't want to go home. So he's watching from the tree, like my car. Okay, so I have nuts guys, I have nuts. Hey, love, are you breaking again my zipper? He's breaking again my zipper, little punk. Okay guys, ah, this is hard work. Oh! Attack. Did you attack me? Did you attack me? No, he wants the nuts. Look at that, he wants the nuts. They're not fighting for nuts. Boys. Boys. Uh, boys. Come on, boys. Hope you go on one knee. Love, go on the other knee. You're not fighting for nuts. Love, hope. All right, guys, behave. Come on. Step up. Come on, step up. Okay, so let me give them some nuts. Love. Hey, perch. Love. What is going on, love? All right, go on my shoulder. Go on my shoulder. Yay, yay. Yeah, here's a nut for you. Yeah, I'm telling you, they are worse than little babies. They have the intellect of a three to four year old. Maybe even five year old. Look at that. This is my... This is my nothing. I have toys. <laughs> toys. Guess what? Who to chew on? Yep. What am to chew on? Toys. I want a maca. And what else do I have in here? Look. Toys. Look. Where's the nuts? Toys. Toys. You want a toy? You come off the floor. Get off the floor. Come here. Yeah. You know when dogs are around, we, we don't want you to get harmed or hurt. Yeah, get a pine nut. Good. Okay, now they're good. Okay, so here's love. 
here's the hope. Oh, wow. Wow. All right. Hope is the rainbow bird. Yes, this is Hope. He's the rainbow Catalina. And this is Love. Look, now they're quiet, you see? They just want food, just like little babies. They are always happy if they are full and if they are, like, have stuff in their stomach. Yeah. Good. Good. Also, there's a chapter in my book where I'm talking about um, some free flyers, which I know some. Um, they train birds with food motivation. Basically, they do um, weight management. And you guys have to read that. Um, I don't like it because some people starve their birds so that they fly and come back. But this is like the wrong method to do it. I wrote about it in my book and it's a chapter. It's called weight management vs food management. There's, there's a big difference. So if you read it, don't never ever stop your bird because that's the wrong approach. The bird is suffering. They are always hungry. And um, that's a starvation diet when people do it with birds. And it's so unethical. It's not moral. It is abusive. So my birds, they, are, they all love me. They are bonded and they are trusted, like they trust me. Um, I never do this whole weight management thing. I think it's stupid and it's abusive and it's cruel. So go read my book, go check it out. You will learn so much about parrot training. All right, let's ask, let's read some more questions. Mike Bonda, hey, thank you so much for the $2. Yay, we got a super chat. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So Mike, Oh, not Banda, Banda, Banda girl. Mike Banda girl just gave me $2 in the super chat and he says, hey girl, you got a hater and it's not me. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of haters. I got a lot of haters. They always hate me. I don't know why, but you know, there's always haters in the world, but you know, maybe one day those haters can be converted into lovers. So I love my haters too. They're also just people who needs to hate on people, but like basically, please just don't hate on me. Okay, can I get a shout out please? Thunderballs, yes. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> uh, Living Kirsch, no, Kitsum. Can I have a shout out? The violinist, life is a team. Yet the life is a team, he says animal abuse, yep. Starving birds is animal abuse and it's a true thing. It's really reality. People in the bird community, like in the free flight community, starve their birds. And it's 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 disgusting. Like I hate that. I don't like that. And you know, there's this whole secret mentality going on where you don't talk about training. So my book is breaking all like secret mentality and the fear because I'm exposing everything in this book so go read it guys you will learn so much and also my journey what I went through getting started with hope free flying it was crazy and I'm happy that I could write it down and share with you my story and my experience because it was really hard like like the free fly community is no joke guys so I hope that's the reason why I wanted also to write this book um, just to raise up a new generation of free flyers and parrot lovers who do it the right way to fly their parrots with love and compassion and bonding and trust and not just like starving them and people don't like to talk about their training methods because they're losing birds or they're starving birds and I, I'm writing in my book about my method it's the Von Petzold method and you'll learn so much about it so just go download it read it comment and yeah, and leave me a good review on Amazon because, <laughs> you know, I'm changing, like we're making history, right? We're changing the life of birds, basically. All right, let's read some more questions. Um, people in this chat can call me Banda. Okay, <laughs> thank you Banda again for the $2 super chat. That's really sweet of you. Um, Wow, you're so amazing. Finch is on my car. Thank you. Are you planning another crossover with Bertrix anytime soon? Oh, they are amazing. I love Bertrix. They have really good people and good trainers. Um, but right now, I'm just so busy here in California. And they are probably busy in summer with all their shows. So I wish them the best. And hopefully one day we can fly together again. But they were amazing. I love Bertrix. I love you. You're so funny and loving and full. You have 
taught me a lot. Hashtag CVP, <laughs> the life of a teen. Thank you so much. You're beautiful. Thank you so much. We found a baby house sparrow and it fell out of its net. It couldn't put it back, so we decided to take it home. And now it grew healthy. Right now it's free flying outside with the other birds. Ah, oh, truly animal lover. That's amazing. I love that. I love that story. <laughs> What's your favorite color? I think red. I love red. Red and pink. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Do you want another nut, lovey boy? I love kissing my bird. I love also showing emotions to my bird. I love singing with them. I love playing with them. And I'm talking also my book about the other styles, free fly styles, like the Asian styles. And um, where there's no emotions, like, you know, like really like no emotions, no affections. Um, they let their birds fly and then they put them back onto a metal perch and they chain them back on a metal perch. So basically the perch, uh, the birds always have to sit still and has to like, you see him? You see him? He's breaking my zipper. Are you breaking my zipper? Are you breaking my zipper? No. No, love. Don't break my zipper. Look, look, look. We have a toy for you to chew on and we have a nut. Which one are you choosing? He's choosing the nut. Yeah, you want the nut? Okay. Yeah. Chew down the nut. Chew on the nut, baby. All right, any other questions? Where is Hope? Oh, he's up in the tree. He's happy. CP. Oh, <laughs> there's Hope. He just took off the tree. Yesterday, you know what he did yesterday? He flew three blocks away playing with a crow. Like, I have to, I'm gonna post that video tomorrow. It was so funny so funny but i had the gps on him so i could track him down and see what he was doing he was gone for 40 minutes oh hope he's coming back oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hi hopey hi hi here take a toy play with the toy oh he doesn't want the toy do you want some pine nuts hopey do you want some pine nuts no don't go on the floor come on come on you want some pine nuts baby take the pine nuts Love just bit me. Love. Ow, don't bite me. Yeah. yeah. Take some pine nuts. Pine nuts. Good. Oh, love. Look at lovey boy. <laughs> I call him lovey boy because he's just such a loving boy. He's so loving. Look at him. Look at this bird. <laughs> Hi. Oh, wow. I got another super chat. Five dollars. Donina. Thank you so much for the super chat. Donina? Sorry, I probably slaughtered your name. Yeah, it's Doina347. She just donated $5. Woo, woo, woo. Thank you. Yay, everything goes towards my computer. I need a new iMac, guys, so I can make new videos for you and new vlogs for you. So the more super chats I'm getting, uh, I have a lot of super, I need a lot of super chats to get that computer, it's $3,000. Oh my gosh, and I only have seven Patreons, which I think I got like $40. So I basically need still $2,960 to get a computer, <laughs> which is fine. We'll get a savior one day and then we'll get a computer, right? Love, love just fell, come on. Mm. Everything will work out to my good, right? Everything will work out to our good. What did you do? You want that? Okay. All right. Any other questions? I love hope. I love hope too. I love love too. What's your favorite colors? Red. Mm. Okay. There's another question. How do you give your info? Because I don't want people to track me. Please read this. How do I give you my info? Just email me. My email is cvp at carolinevonpetzold.com. Please email me. I don't have any like publicist to like answer you. I answer it myself. I answer all my emails myself. I edit everything myself. I don't even have an editor. I film everything myself. I wrote everything myself. Like I don't have help, but I did. Um, here, love, love, love is trying. He's on a mission. He's trying to break that hat. Hey, don't break that hat. Love, get this nut. Look, love, what is love doing? No, don't, no, 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 no. <laughs> Look at how playful he is. Yeah. Okay, I managed to put a nut in his beak, so he let go of my hat. No, <laughs> you, little, you are a little punk. He's like, he's like, he's like a pasta. Like he's just like, like that. Like, like a pasta. Like, 
Oh, 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 it's breaking. This is the GPS receiver. Look at that. You see that? That's all from love. Oh, he's breaking now my, okay. Love, you have to behave. What is, he's so needy, guys. Love is like that because he's so needy. Mm, mm, mm. All right, let me just touch him. Oh no, I know, I know. Okay, any other questions? Let me see. Um, where is Hope? Oh, Hope is on a tree. How old is Hope? He's three years old. He plays a lot. Yeah, he's very playful. How much is your book? It's $9.99. Yes. So everybody can afford it and read it and learn from it and benefit from it. Love, let me give you another. Let me give you another nut. Yeah. Hey, love. Love gets bored fast. Very fast. All right, Hope just took off right there. All right, another question. How old is Love? Love is probably turning a year soon, right? How old are you, little Love? He's turning out, um, yeah, he, he will, he's gonna be, he's like 11 months old. He's gonna be like a year next month. He has the same, almost like, like the same birthday as Hope, but just like, I think like a couple days apart. So Hope is turning three and Love is turning one. I always wanted a cockatiel, how much are they? I think cockatiels are cheap there. Here in America, they are just like, I think $90 or so. Okay, let me see. Love is the cutest bird, yes he is. How old is the big blue bird? Love is right now almost one year old. Where's Destiny? He's at home, he loves. You're the best YouTuber, thank you. We are around Vegas. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Are you doing a book signing? CJ, CJ, because you're asking me awesome questions. Are you doing a book signing? Um, <laughs> good question. Um, I would love to. So I need to get the paperback out. Once the paperback is out, maybe in Barnes and Nobles, maybe we can do maybe a greet, meet and greet at Barnes and Nobles and a book signing. Wouldn't be that cool. But I need to know if you guys would come because I don't want to sit there alone and nobody shows up. <laughs> so, so I need to know if you guys will come to the book signing. And yeah, I don't know. <laughs> We are also so far apart and there's so many like, you know, other options always out there and in Los Angeles There's always so many events going on. So yeah, there's so many people. So I don't know yet. We'll see. I Love your hat. How much is it? I think it's on my website. I don't know. I have to check go check it out angelicparrots.com um, <laughs> I won't come because I'm in England. Okay, so love is back on this. You see this? Okay, you see, guys, you see this? You see this? Love just wants to bite this back of my hat right here. You see that? You see that? He, he, this is the third hat he's taking it off. No, no, I'm always replaced. No, 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 no. That's a little dinosaur right there. Did you hear him? He's like, he's like a little dinosaur. No, love, that's, that's, that's my hat. That's my hat. And then I can't close it. And then we have to get again a new one. See, this is what he wants. This is what he wants to break. So that's, that's your bird, right? Oh yeah, that's my bird. We see him flying around when we're down there when they're playing baseball. That's my second bird. Oh, how many birds do you have? Oh, right now here in the park, just two, but at home six. Six? Yeah. And you only let the one fly around? No, they're all free flight trained, but he's the best in the park because he's very reliable. So he comes home? Yeah, he comes always back. He's trained That's to come so back. Cool. Yeah, thank you. The one that flies apart. Oh, he's three years old. Wow. Yeah, he's still young. Because these guys live to be 70 years old. Oh, yeah, even longer, like over 100. Wow. Yeah, they can, macaws can get to 90 to 100 with good diet and good, like, you know, care. That's cool. Well, we see him all the time. <laughs> cool. Have a good one. You Bye. Too. Uh, okay, so now he's biting my zipper. Love, stop biting my zipper. Let me give him another nut. He needs to, you see this shell? This is a macadamia shell. Look at how like thick this is. This is what loves, love can open. No other bird can open macadamia nuts except hyacinth macaws. Sit, hyacinth macaws. So let me give him, and then I buy them in bulk. I buy them like a lot and they are so expensive. They are basically, I think like 15, dollars a pound and and they eat. oh he just you see that he just grabbed two 
<laughs> he's stocking them up, but he can't open too. And then he rotates them around and see and looks for the best, the weakest bots to like to crack them. It's so amazing. Those beak is so powerful. It's so amazing how they do that. Yeah, so amazing. Okay, let me get my hat back on. All right, any other questions? Where, where did you get hope? Both of them I got at the breeder. Uh, here's a question, are badgies easy to train? Please let me know. Well, little birds are different than big birds, but just because they're little, it doesn't mean that they are not smart. They are little, but they are so smart too. It's not the brain mass of a bird that counts, it's the neutrons in the brain. That's the little, like all the activity going on. Birds are the smartest animal in the animal kingdom because they can even recognize shapes and manufacture tools and stuff. No other animal can do it. In my book, I have a chapter about parrot intelligence with 10 questions where you can do tests with your parrots to see how smart it how smart they are i did it with destiny destiny passed all the tests like he is the smartest of all my parents woohoo we just got a super chat teresa king just donated 9.99 woo, woo, woo. thank you <laughs> that is so awesome yes i'm on my way getting a new computer thank you so much teresa king i really appreciate your donation and the super chat that's really sweet of you yeah i need a new computer so i can edit new vlogs um, yeah, so you can train any budgie or any parrot for free flight and trick training. There's also a chapter about trick training. I covered um, clicker training and everything in there. And it, it, it doesn't really matter if it's big birds or small birds. Small birds is as smart as big birds. Like basically they are birds, they are from the parrot family. I read your book. Thank you, cutie pie grandma. That's awesome. Let me know what you think and uh, also if you read the book please leave me a re review on yelp no not on yelp sorry <laughs> on amazon because i think if i get a lot of um, reviews in the first week they can give me like the bestseller status so i have to sell a lot of books and i'm with a lot of reviews so i can like they can give me the bestseller quote um yeah culture or something like that so like after you read the book go over to amazon and leave me a review how you like it that will be so awesome if we can get the bestseller status okay let me see are you getting money to get a computer yeah well vega yes my computer broke it just okay love is like back on my hat so what I'm gonna, oh, he did it, he did it, he broke my hat. Love, you did it, he mission accomplished. Oh, another hat I need to replace. Love, this is the fourth hat this week. You see how powerful is his beak? You see his beak? He didn't want his nut. He had his mission on my hat straight out. Like last week, he had his mission on my zipper and he did it. I am, I need to, like if I come to the park, I cannot wear nice merch anymore. I have to wear shitty, like scrappy old clothing for him to bring. I can't wear nice stuff. That's why I have also my hair all together because he messed up my hair. <laughs> and now he's on my zipper. Are you on my zipper? Ow, that was my nose. Are you on my zipper? You want to break now my zipper? No, you're not going to break my zipper. You already broke my hat. Now, how can I protect myself from the sun, huh? Huh? You stinker. I love you. I love him anyway. Such a rascal. Such a rascal. Wow. Okay, let's read more questions. You know what I need? I need a hat with Velcro closure. Like, that. there's no methyl. He is so into the methyl right now. And now he wants to take off the other part. All right, let's read more questions. Hello there, I've been watching a while now and I want to say that you are amazing the way you treat your and trust your birds. Tanner Mumford, thank you so much. That means a lot to me. Thank you for your sweet comment. That's really nice to hear. Yeah, I let them break stuff. Are birds blood colorblind? I don't really know. I don't think so. Huh. Hey guys, can you answer the question? Um, 
if birds are colorblind, if anybody knows about it, I never hear about that. Okay, I read your book two times. It's so good. <laughs> Hold on. You read my book. Who said that? Who said that? Cutie pie grandma. Okay, I don't believe you because it just got released basically an hour ago. And there's 10 chapters. To finish my book, it will take basically 10 hours. And you can't read my whole book in one hour. So you guys have to be truthful to me because I know it's not true. Okay, what's the best beginner bird? Well, if you never had a bird before, then I would say the best beginner bird is a small bird, but um, um, just because it's easier to handle. But um, I think lorikeys are really awesome birds. Conier, it doesn't need to be a cockatiel or budgie. People always say budgie or cockatiel, but like a mid-sized bird is also a nice beginner bird, like, like little birds, but don't go from nothing to a macaw. Uh, like you know I got budgies when I was 16 and I gradually like go bigger and then I had Dino he was a mid-size and after Dino I had Destiny my whole story about the angelic parrots is in my book you guys have to read it it's it's really heart-wrenching or heart-touching heart-wrenching heart-touching yeah very very emotional Let's answer some more questions. You guys are still sticking with me. That's awesome. What? We are talking already over 50 minutes, I think. That's so cool. You guys want to talk to me? Okay, I love my teal, but I can't wait to have a macaw. Yes, but you have to see, you go from small to big. That's good. Like, don't go just from nothing to big. Like, you see him? He's on a mission. See that? Yeah. Are you putting fake all nails on? No, I never have fake nails. I'm not a fake person. I'm original. I don't do fake stuff. Everything is real. I like the real thing. I like the original thing. I don't like fake thing. So no fake nails for me. I couldn't even live for a day with fake nails. Like it was just on for two hours and I was miserable. Like meh. Original is best. All right. Does parrots do tricks? Yes. All my parrots do tricks. They are very, very smart. Um, you should put fake hair extensions to see what birds do. <laughs> hey, that's a good question. Maybe I should buy a wig or something. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. Thanks for the idea. Um, another question. Hans macaw, a great starter bird. It's very intelligent. I never had a Hans macaw, so I don't know. We want to talk to you because you're amazing and also sorry for your loss. Oh, thank you, Tana. That's so thoughtful. Thank you so much. What are your favorite colors? I love red. I love everything bright. Bright, like bright red, pink. He's still on a mission. I have a pit bull. I love pit bulls too. <laughs> Laugh. His nails are sharp. He just poked me. How did you get your parrots? Oh, it's all in my book. You guys have to read it. I put all the whole story, how I got my birds in a book. It's the story of the... Oh, he got it. You see that? He got the second methyl from my hat. My hat is now methylless. You see that? Yeah, that's what birds do. Now I can't close my hat anymore. That's it. That's my angelic parrot's hat. You can get it on my website, angelicparrots.com. That's now a junk hat. That's now broken because of him. Man, what he's doing? He wants the methyl, now he's happy. Hey, you don't want a nut? You want a nut? No, you see? You see? He doesn't want a nut. He wants the methyl. Love, do you want a nut? No. He's happy busy. All right. That's birds. This is life with birds, guys. Life with birds. If you love them. All right. Um, what is your book called? So I can search on Amazon, buy it. Smasher 810. Great question. My book is called How to Train Your Parrot and More. Yes, because it's not just about free flight training, but it's about parrot training and parrot behavior and everything is on my book. And also I'm telling real stories, my experience and stuff like that. How It's not how to train your dragon, but how to train your parrot. Get it? So so it's on Amazon. It's also on the link below, like um, the description. So you can just click the link. It will take you right onto Amazon, and it's just nine ninety nine, guys. Nine ninety nine. A cup of coffee is like what five dollars four ninety nine. Like you know, it's just two cup of coffee, and you can get like a whole education of my book. Like it's really worth it. 
Okay, let me see if there's other questions. What's the easiest bird to train? Um, I think all birds are easy to train, like if you get them at a young age. Older birds are harder to train because they have their set ways. I'm talking about it also in my book. But depends how you handle them. Every parrot is smart. But if you handle them like that they are smart, then they are really smart. Like you have to treat them like you want to be treated. And birds are so smart, like insanely smart. And your bird is a reflection of you. So like if your bird is really quiet and shy, that means you are quiet and shy. Like, you know, like I train them. Look at how outgoing they are. They are so outgoing. They have so much personality. And I love to let them be like, develop in their full glory and in their full personality because I want them to be creative smart and I'm talking about this also in my book if you like how to like raise a baby bird how to raise a weanling where to get birds and how to train them it's all in my book it's all in my book okay so somebody answered the question birds are not colorblind yeah I don't think so I've never heard that before um so let me see if there is another question I can answer. Oh, oh my gosh, can you please go up and read the message I sent you like a thousand times? Myla mm, Gammon, I don't know what message. Can you, can you rewrite it? Because so many people <laughs> was like commenting. I don't know about, I don't know how someone read your book twice. I am only on page 703 and I read it a lot. <laughs> wow! Thank you, Mirko. <laughs> you are a fast reader. I want to see a trick. Uh, yeah, love don't do tricks yet. I didn't train love tricks, but hope do tricks. When I get a new bird, I'll leave you to put it in a cage and leave it. Wait, I don't get this. Wait, animal vlog. Okay, so I need to free read it. When I get a new bird, do I leave or put it in a cage or leave it out? Um, okay, so if you get a new bird, you should spend as much time as possible with your new bird. Like, not the first day, but like, you know, the next day, like at once it gets situated and in a new environment. So spend a lot of time with your bird, just don't leave it in the cage. Like, you know, I have my bird always out. Even Dino, he was so animated. He wants to be always out. He was screaming in the cage. He, he didn't like his cage. So I involve him in my life. And that's what you have to do with parrots. You have to involve parrots in your life. I want here, I want here to talk with hope, please. Okay. piece of paper because I can't email you for some reason and I'm seeing birthday hope Mila okay so my email again is somebody's asking me for my email is cvp like cvp at carolinevonpetzel.com very easy to remember okay thanks uh, your birds are beautiful thank you Arthur uh, Arthur um no color blind i don't think so also that yeah. teresa king says no color blind they see better colors than us they are ultra they see ultra well i think so too when there's a hawk like up there flying around hope see it first and he is like right like on it uh caroline i need to do more park vlogs i'm loving them i know <laughs> yeah but you know if i do park vlogs like i don't have a computer to edit them so i have to do live because then i have all this footage and i'm just like i can't edit right now it's just like there's no editing software on that computer so i need to get new software and new computer uh, in order to edit what kind of bird is hope hope is a catalina maca basically a rainbow maca all right okay guys you see this this is the $1,220 tracker. You see it's blinking blue right now. That means, I don't know where's like, Hope is gone right now. He's gone since, I don't know, how long are we talking? Probably like over 20 minutes. So with this tracker, this is the receiver. 
it's tracking hope. So I know exactly where he is. So basically I need to do my phone, but I'm recording right now with my phone and I can track him down and I know exactly where he is. So this gives me so much peace of mind. And I'm talking also in my book about GPS tracker because I'm flying hope like at liberty at this park. That means I'm sitting here. This is my home base. A home base is also the place where you get started where you start free flying so my bird hope knows exactly where i am he's always going to come back at this spot right here but right now he's somewhere out there chasing birds playing with crows i don't know what he's doing yesterday he was three blocks down south and i had to track him down because the sun was about to set but he didn't want to come home yet but i had to go home because i had an appointment so i had to go track him down. i'm gonna post the video yesterday and it was awesome it was the first time I had to go get him and it was really awesome this thing is a life savior so if you can and you're free flying a bird you need to get a GPS because a GPS is an insurance I know we hope we'll come back this is here home base he's gonna come back to home base once the sun sets but he is having now his golden hour he's letting out his frustrations he's doing what birds have to do he's screaming he's laughing he's shaking his tail he is like really happy getting all the fresh air in his lungs you know and once we're home he is such a little baby he's so cute he's just like you know and I want him to scream out here I want him to fly and do his bird things and imagine all these neutrons his brain activity going on chasing birds he is so happy birds need to be happy birds need to fly and that's also a chapter in my, my, my book where I'm just like emphasizing never ever clip your birds wings because if you clip your birds wings you are handicapping your bird you are gonna have a disabled bird that can't fly why do you want to get a bird if you don't want a bird to fly a bird is born with a pair of wings to fly and yeah i love flying i am so pro wings and yeah we don't like we don't like clipping birds wings because it's just cruel abusive and it's not okay because birds need to fly like they are born with two little legs and two little wings and it's like us we have two legs and two arms you know and you don't want to hack off our arms or people so that we can't do anything anymore and if birds are aggressive it's because they get clipped and they can't get away and then they are sad and then they start biting and have all these behavioral problems like this was all old school thinking where people say oh yeah i need to clip my birds wings for their safety it's not for their safety it's for the human safety it's a false safety um kind of mentality so yeah don't clip your birds wings let them happy let them be birds because they are birds for a reason you see those wings you see his wings look at how gorgeous look at how gorgeous the full set of wings come on love are you done with that little hook are you done no he's still playing with it are you done look look just look at these wings look how beautiful this is you see that you see that guys this is so beautiful this is so precious oh, we love your wings we love you you're beautiful you're so beautiful love yes We'll never clip your wings. We'll let you fly, right? Yeah. So that's what we are all about. We just love wings. We love, we love, we love wings. And I always recommend to keep your birds intact with all their flaws and failures and like perks and <laughs> like everything so that they are, they are just birds, you know? All right, let me see any other questions. Beautiful. Yes, Hope can do tricks. I know someone who clipped the parrot's wings not to fly and I was sad. Yeah, I, me too. If I see clipped wings on those parrot groups, man, it's so sad. Like, I can't believe it because people love to see unhealthy birds in those groups. Like, I pose a beautiful picture of Hope majestic flying, right? No comments. Somebody posed a black bird, like really sick and almost naked. They got over 200 comments. I was like, how can that be like i don't get it i don't get it i was like okay whatever so i stopped posting on those groups ah <sighs> yeah i like watching your videos you are my inspiration you inspire me to make me learn more about parrots thank you so gl uh, so much vadly vadi gavi what v lady sorry v lady gavi thank you so much Sorry, I slaughtered, slaughtered names again. I love you and hope. Thank you so much. Uh, they love drama. 
Yeah, people in bird groups love drama. Oh, and there's also a chapter in my book about drama, how drama started, and also about toxic people. It's so valuable. This book is not just about bird training and free flight training, it's about everything in life. Um, yeah, you guys have to read it. Thank you. Miha uh, Gamon just donated 99 cents. Yay! Thank you so much. Every penny counts. We love every penny, right? Yeah goes towards the computer. Thank you so much. Me, Mila, Miha. Thank you so much. Um, okay, let me see if there's other questions I can answer. Okay. Um, you are an inspiration to many. I start my day off watching your other older vlogs. <laughs> I know they are so in right now. Uh, people love drama. <laughs> and I did in the beginning a lot of drama because drama just happens. I don't instantiate drama. I am just here flying my birds. Drama happens. And I just post it on, online. And you know, and that's how I got all the subscribers and people start watching me. But yeah, my old videos were really great. Yeah, but I'm going to do something new this year once the book is out. And uh, now the book is out. But once I, I'm gonna also do a paperback and an audiobook for people. If people don't like to read, there's an audiobook version. And if people want something tangible, there will be this week a paperback version too. And then I'll start again doing vlogs. But I need to figure out the pro, the computer thing. But thank you so much. My old vlogs is like the hit. I'm yeah, people are still watching it. It's great. I love it. It's good content. Um, at my house, I see a baby bird in a hole. Oh no, did you rescue it? Oh, I miss Dino. Yeah, me too. I also miss Dino. What's your bird favorite food? That's a good question. Favorite food for birds. So birds love. <coughs> what do birds love? They love nuts. Like they are crazy for nuts. They go nuts for nuts. Hey, that's actually a really good one-liner. They go nuts for nuts. <laughs> Here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to ask Love to poop because he just pooped on me. Poop, poop. Poop, poop. Poop, poop. Good boy. <laughs> good boy. You see that, guys? That was a trick. That's potty training or poop, poop training. I write about it, how to do this in my book as well for $9.99. Just for that chapter, it's so worth it. So you see, I thought about it and he and I asked him and he did it. But if I don't think about it, he will do it on me. So I thought like, yeah, I have to ask him because birds have like a lot of like fast, um, um, like um, system to like um, devour nuts. So they always go to the bathroom. Like, what are you doing? My, my hat has no metal anymore. Look, it's all gone. Love, it's all gone. He's looking for metal. He wants to bite some more metal. No, that's all gone, love. There's no... Here, take a nut. Take a nut. Love, take a nut. Take a nut. Take a nut. Good. <laughs> and you see, that's how I distract him not to bite my hat. That's already broken, whatever. <laughs> all right. Yes, that's the word. Metabolism. <laughs> Thank you, Mirko. It didn't... Uh, came into my mind. Yes, they have a fast metabolism and they have to go to the bathroom a lot of times. So it's really good for them if they are potty trained. And if you think about it, that they can like, you know, um, um, think about it. They can just go party. That's really cool. Okay. Do you keep the $10 or Amazon keeps it? Well, good question. So uh, for my book sale, I get as an author, I get... 30 i think 30 for 35 percent of all book sales and amazon gets uh 65 percent so because they are the seller so yeah 35 it's all right not too bad goes towards my computer all book sales <laughs> that's the new goal for this year get a new computer okay you see this you see this guys look he's 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 getting the nut He's biting the nut. Is this interesting for you? Like, do you like to watch this? Like, let me know, comment. Here's just one comment, how's hope? Yes, thank you, Awesome. Thank you for responding back. Just one? Don't clip wings. Yes, I totally agree. Puck clips, hello, hello, hello. 
Yes, good. I'm happy this is entertaining and, and awesome for you. Good, good. Okay, here's a question. This is a good question from Smasher810. Uh, he says, is it okay to trim your bird's wings when you are training your bird and then after let them grow? Or is it bad? Please answer. Okay, this is a good question. So, um, La Destiny and um, Angel, you see now he's chopping his beak. Um, Destiny and Angel were trimmed as a baby, but both of them were able to fletch before they got trimmed. So they know how to fly and that's very important. Don't trim bird's wings when they are babies and they never could fletch. Like that's the most crucial moment where a baby, learn, like a human baby learns to walk. And if you steal it from them and take it away and take away their, their legs, they, they will never learn how to walk. They don't know how to use those muscles. And same with birds. They need to properly fletch. And then, you know, like, like don't trim all, like it's so bad to trim the primes. If you don't know about wings, like, let me show you. Love, come here, come here, come here. Okay, so. There's three chapters in the bird wings. This is the primes. The first, like these are primes. The centerpiece are the seconds. And then there's the thirds. Like these primes, this is the outer ones. These, like never ever clip the primes because they are hard to come back. They are harder to grow out and um, the bird can't fly. I see sometimes really bad clipping from birds where my heart just hurts, where they just go pink and everything is straight there's no primes no seconds and no thirds and i was like poor bird you just handicap and disable this bird for another two years and it can't fly how cruel you know so never ever clip the primes that's the first five from the bird's wings um because the primes they this is what the birds can fly they can like if you clip in the center the secondaries they can still fly they can still fly, but they can't fly that good and that 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 well. But um, Destiny and um, Angel was were clipped just in their secondary, so their primes were always still available for them to fly, and it was easier for them to grow out the secondary. And then within like after like I think like half a year, both of them were flying beautifully, and they are both free fly trained. So yeah, um, if you need to clip like just for safety just the primes never no, just the secondary never the primes but i would recommend never ever to clip a bird because if you clip like the birds need to like know how to navigate and they need to know how to break they need to know how to turn and a clip bird doesn't know how to do that it doesn't it doesn't come in its full potential how to fly like a real wild bird that's out there flying for its living and for survival so once your bird gets out and it's a clip bird it has little chance for survival because the the feathers are clipped the, the wings is clipped and they don't know how to come back or don't know even how to like fly downward you know so it's really really important that you don't clip birds wings right right love yeah did you eat all your you see this this is this is a macadamia nut <laughs> and he's eating it yeah good job love good job um let's read some more questions you love cracking them and dropping them and would eat once in a while so dalnita just told me a story about hyacinth yeah he doesn't really like walnuts his favorite is macadamia the most expensive nuts okay thanks for answering that was very helpful you're welcome um alrighty. can you give them a lot of nuts okay so the um the hyacinth diet is different than a maca diet they need more fat they need those nuts they need like 20 uh, macadamia nuts a day just because they uh, have a, a different system than a, a, a macaw. They need a lot of good fat. A macaw doesn't need too much fat. So a hyacinth macaw needs extra fat and they need all these nuts. Their main diet is nuts actually. Okay, this is a good uh, comment. You preserved and didn't give up on glory. I love you very much. 
And I very much admire you for this. I love the relationship you have with your flock. Thank you so much. Yes. You know, when it gets hard, you don't just give up like in the best like opportunity. You need to stick along and you need to like endure. I think there's a lot of blessing in enduring especially hardships because it will make you a stronger person and a better person because hardships happen for a reason and i mean my first reaction when La, when when glory bit love of course i was angry and i was shocked and i was like not in a good mood and it was in the heat of the moment where i'm just like yeah i need to get rid of her plus she was screaming and it was very overwhelming but yeah we endured like we have Flo uh, glory now for like over six months and i noticed also he loves glory like i got actually glory for him and he loves glory he grew up with glory i was together with him for a month before glory came into my life so glory is part of us she's our family and just because she's adopted or not a baby it doesn't mean i love her less i love her as much as i love love hope glory, um, angel and destiny because she's part of me she's part of us and love loves glory and and he he is so confident she's already afraid of him <laughs> So down the road, they will be buddies and I know a lot of hyacinth owners will just have one hyacinth and they want to get a second one, a male or female, and I already have two, so I'm, I'm totally blessed. I love, oh and Faith, yes, <laughs> Faith is so cute. She is just so adorable. I love Faith. Faith was also a rescue and she is the most grateful, thankful bird I ever have encountered. All she wants is to sit next to Destiny and she and Destiny are like buddies. So the story with Faith is she was um, she got abandoned and I got destiny as a baby and because she was abandoned I start looking for her owner and the person who found her her um, founder gave faith to me because we found her owner and her owner abandoned her purposely because she bit his daughter's finger so Faith, I know Faith is my favorite too so Faith actually I don't have favorites I love them all they are all my favorites so faith love destiny destiny was a little stinker he was a little baby back then three years ago and she waited for him to grow up and now destiny loves faith and now they are a bonded pair isn't that a romantic isn't that a beautiful story i just love those two those two amazons they're special all right um remember that girl called hope and act like you in that spot you're sitting <laughs> yeah, i was right there i was so mad i was so mad i love that video it's one of my best videos i think i really love your birds and your videos so much thank you so much i love your videos thank you so much do you prefer adopting um okay good question um so there is a chapter also in my book I'm covering about baby birds vs older birds. You know, if you get an older bird who is a rescue bird, it's harder because it's already hard work to train a baby bird. But it's, it's even harder to train an older bird plus all her old behavior patterns away plus free flying. So you have double work. Um, so baby birds are always easier to train and they're the best candidates and you have to like start with your best candidate to free fly and baby birds is just like so much they're more confident they are crazy they're daredevils they don't think about like they will get hurt they just go they just jump they just fly because they are very curious an older bird like glory uh, think twice what she wants to do she's always in her head she's always thinking you know if she wants to do it if she doesn't want to do it a baby bird doesn't think they just do it so it's it's basically like a young human like you know little kids just do stuff older people they are always like thinking about stuff and it's the same thing with birds i know are you biting now your harness don't bite your harness Oh, any questions? Well, we have favorites. Yours is Dino, mine is Faith. Aww. Um, okay, let me see if I can see other good questions here. Anyone? Uh, did anyone birds get attacked? No, no birds get attacked. Thanks for trying to give me your email. It was not working. Oh no, again. <laughs> for the third time, my email is C V. P, 
like CVP, like Caroline Von Petzl, my initial, at carolinevonpetzl.com. So you just go to my channel name, just copy paste Caroline Von Petzl, take all the space out, put at the end.com. CVP at carolinevonpetzl.com. Okay. I wish Dino was alive. Me too. Dino was was really exceptional. Love you. Thank you so much. Where do you buy your bird food? Oh, I buy them on Amazon. Um, like down in the description, I have a link. A Amazon a link. It's an affiliate link. And this guy here, he loves macaw bites. These are those tropical macaw bites. It's like a whole bag. It's like seventy bucks or so. They are so expensive. He and glory they go crazy for those macaw bites he doesn't eat anything else but they need those fat you know they need good fat and then my other uh, birds they get pellets yeah they get pellets and then in the mornings they always get fresh food i always give them fresh food in the mornings they're very picky eaters especially this guy he likes to get fat i need to like feed him if you go on my facebook do you know the lorry you can see a lot of videos how i'm feeding him and also on my other channel angelic parrots i haven't been uploading there because i'm uploading now on this channel caroline my pets out because i don't have any like you know videos to edit usually all these little clips that i upload right now on caroline one pets out don't break the zipper i usually upload it on angelic parrots but because i don't have time to edit because i don't have a computer to edit um yeah now you guys are seeing all these little clips which is also fine unless i'm posting daily and i don't forget you because i i do want to like you know share my life with you okay amazon yeah i love amazon hey caroline hey josie joe's nicola all parrots need a loving home i totally agree i totally what is he doing again love you already broke it love 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 what you doing would you do? He is so obsessed with this hat. Okay, this is my angelic parrot's hat on my website, angelicparrots.com. He is so obsessed. What do you want to do with that hat? What? What? You like the logo? You want to bite the logo off? <laughs> Look how cute he is. I love him. I love him. And he's still, he's very babyish. He has his baby hiccups. He's, he's developing really nicely and he's so cuddly like none bird is cuddly but he's the most cuddly he's just like sits like a baby and he just wants to get pet all right here's a good question hey caroline this is grandma me ladies ending blessing g joy because you make my day and the tea with you beautiful birds hugs thank you so much that's so sweet I love your birds. Thank you so much. I love my birds too. Let me get this toy for love. Here, love. Do you want to like, chew on a toy? Chew on a toy. Yeah. No, he see? He dropped it. He doesn't want a toy. Okay, look, 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 look. He wants the hat. Look. Yeah, I know. It's a hot hat. <laughs> but it's broken right now. Love. Get a piece of nut. Alright. So, keep, keep him busy. You're so pretty. Oh, thank you so much. You're so sweet. I love you. Thank you, Birdie Gamer. How did you know Hope was ready to fly on his on his own? Please answer. Oh, that's a very good question. So, uh, FPV is asking this question. How do I know La Hope is ready to fly? I answer this on my book. You have to get my book. And I'm talking about Hope's first free flight and how I did it. And it's all in my book. So, go check it out. The link is below. Uh, download the book via Amazon. You can read it on your iPhone or iPad or Kindle Unlimited. And there you will have it. Like, I talk about everything, how I got started in free flying, how I fly. You get a whole education about not only parrot free flight training, but also parrot behavior training and trick training. And also all my experiences and my stories, how I got started. I've never told this before. Um, this book covers a lot of ground. You will learn so much just from reading this book, right? Yeah, and I wrote it for you because I want you to learn and I want to break the silent spirit so that everybody know now how to free fly and don't need to like always ask me, how do you get your bird up in the air? How do you know how he comes back? How do you do this? How do you do that? You know, like it's not a secret anymore. Everybody should know how to do that. 
and we will be raising up a new generation of free flyers who love their birds, who doesn't clip their wings, and then maybe one day we can have a free fly meetup with all my CVPs. That would be great. That would be so awesome. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so what else question? And I'm running low on battery, so let's do five more minutes and then he's getting already like you see, he wants to like break my hat. <laughs> it's getting really really like nippy. What are you when are you meeting up? Ow! Laugh! Ow! Oh my gosh, my brother's screaming. Sounds like Hope is calling. No, he's far away. I, he's probably three blocks down. I know exactly where he sits. Like, if I track him down, I know. Ah! <laughs> Love is trying to get the centerpiece. Okay. No. Love. Cam. Cam. You are. Go poo -poo. Okay. Love. Love. Go poo poo. Make poo poo. Make poo poo. Okay. He's. Wait. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. Okay. Okay. Now. Poo poo. Poo poo. Hope. Love. Poo poo. Come on. Poo poo. You have poo poo? You have poo poo love? Love poo poo. Come on. He doesn't like his harness. Love, do you have poo poo? Don't poo poo on me. No, he doesn't have poo poo. Okay, he already did twice. All right, let me give him some, some toys and some nuts. And then we have to wrap up this live chat because I have to go home and feed birds and get hope back. And yeah, so this was it because my book is out this is a milestone i've been writing on this book since a whole year like the first like half la last year the, the 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 since last year summer uh summer to december like last year i was brainstorming and put it all my notes down and it was all this book was just like uh, a thought in my head and i wanted really to write this book and then this year january 1st i really sat down and i start writing it day and night and now this is a milestone that this book is out so this is a this is a book that is unique it's one of its kind it's never been done before a book for free flight training um i'm giving you guys options to free fly your parrot this book makes free flying accessible for everybody in the world who wants to learn about free flying um, and this will totally change the free fly community to the better and birds lives to the better because there will be a lot of new bird owners who won't clip their birds wings and would like start free flying them so this is great this is a big achievement a milestone in my life my first book and it's a parrot training book so i'm happy i'm happy that's out so this week i'm gonna uh, publish the paperback so you guys can get something also in your hand like some Something tangible to read I know some people don't like ebooks and I me too I like real books I like to have it in my hand and like write in it and you know and go back and reread it instead of reading everything on my phone so um, there's an option like in 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 Amazon if you get the book the paperback book you can get only the 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 ebook for $2.99 if you buy both together and um, that's a good deal because you will get both the ebook if you are on your way and you don't forget you, you don't have the paperback book and you need to like you know you're bored and you want to read it you can always open up in your phone and you can always read it in your phone but then if you have your paperback you can you know make notes in that and 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 comment on it you know in the site notes or like put bookmark in it and you know or photocopy it like you know it's just really awesome to have a, um, a tangible copy so there will be two options and then down the road i'm also doing gonna do an audio book for people who doesn't like to read who just wants to put a cd in or just like hit the streaming and, and then listen to it <laughs> why are you such a rascal i love you too so yeah so this is a milestone coming i'm so excited about this go check it out um, comment below let me know what you think about this book because this book is for you i gave you all my knowledge i know within the two years of free flying i hold nothing back i don't believe in holding back i give everything freely all this information for you to make Make your life um, and your parents life a better like happier life so this is this is for you guys and yeah I think this was a long way coming but I think it was totally worth it so yeah um, that's it yeah that's it should we say bye and go and get hope 
I love you guys. So thank you so much for watching me. Uh, ow, ow. Love. love is, he's hungry. I need to feed him. He's like getting really nippy and yeah. So I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to post this video, how I track down hope. You better watch it. It's really a fun video. And then I'm working, I'm going to work this week for the paperback to come out and get published as well. And yeah, that's it. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. Comment below, subscribe and give us a big thumbs up. And yeah, and go over, if you got the book, go over to Amazon and write me a review how you like the book. That would be awesome. The more five star reviews the better we can get the bestseller status that that will be great that will be the next mission to accomplish okay i love you see you later bye Mwah.